Uh, the kind of experience is a whole different kind of more inward language that involves a kind of a think tank of musicians that share a very unique um, conversation. The number one aspect of what we offer here is, is how the faculty work together to make this possible for, for each individual student, depending on their speciality, or depending on what they're discovering to be their speciality or their, their strengths and how to help bring that to fruition and, and maximize those abilities while they're here with the right guidance. Space those out, but they have to be close, right? Yeah. One. -da 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 is almost a trill. Nice. Right? Okay. Now, now we're that a little slower. We're, we're... Play the groove for us and we'll be in with you. <laughs> We are largely a, a combo-based program for this reason, so the students can be involved in, in, in integrate their understanding of the jazz language in, in, into an ensemble environment and be able to learn how to talk to other musicians this way. Hopefully write for these groups as well and then get into the studio. And what I mean by what I'm seeing in, in what the students are gaining from the experience is when they themselves are being recorded or recording themselves in this environment. Yeah, the music business courses are also the side of, of the training that's really important, right? To have something like music production, um, to have uh, an entrepreneurship course, uh, understanding how copyright law works. These are all typical monikers that you're going to be seeing in terms of the offerings of most music business programs that also even integrate with performance. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Hey, this, is, a, this is for you guys. One of the challenges here was to, uh, to integrate kind of a conservatory approach with uh, liberal arts expectations in terms of the in terms of those credits, but it marries very well with what's expected here. That's why it's not entirely a conservatory, and that's a good thing because of the kind of courses they're able to take outside of their music courses, uh, which which makes uh, for a total um, experience. And a, a, a total development. You know, a student will come in with a great question. You know, like, what, what can I do with this particular um, avenue of writing? What, what, how can I explore this? It's like, well, let's, let's just, why don't you just write it down and bring it to my office. Let's, let's spend time and in, in, in a few lessons um, fleshing this out. Let's see if this can turn into something that you could use for a film like you're asking me to. 
uh, let's see if we can if, if we could turn it into this into a, a, a multi-horn chart or if it's something that's just going to have more of a pop element but still involves the jazz influence what what does that mean um, if, if the student is trying to explore that then we need to be able to provide that experience for them uh, you don't want to sacrifice the, the length of the melody or the, the presentation of the melody for, for the for the embellishments like the embellishments are almost becoming more important than the melody yeah. That's what we don't want. Like the other way around. The belly has to be honored. Right? Okay. I'll try, try a little bit of the top of the top of the head. It's kind of right here behind that. Let's get your pants four. Okay. One, two, one, two, three, four. Oftentimes the, uh, the students and the faculty are called upon for creative endeavors that have to do with, 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 with bigger events. And a lot of attention is called to the fine arts students and faculty in these situations. They're not in the background. They're performing front and center. And they're given the recognition and the experience that they need to. They're getting paid also to perform in these environments. They're just not expected to do this you know, you know, pro bono. You know, they're, really expect they're, they're being treated as professionals. We do have a big band here, and that, we need that. It's an absolute essential part of, of developing, uh, which which builds on a person's ability to double or to be able to read, you know, extensively. To be able to that that level of training is is essential. Integrated. because just it's never just one thing <laughs> every endeavor can has has a multiplicity of of applications here and that's that's what i've really very much enjoyed you know i, I personally will start one thing and then I, I i i just plug it in here and then it just expands everywhere else and that's what i've always loved about this place